Hey everybody, so today I'm sitting down and talking with Rob, who is a digital nomad, and he is telling me all about passive income. So he's talking about how to do something once and still get paid for it months later. I'm very interested in this topic. You might be as well. And I also want to say a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who have signed up to support me in making these videos. If you don't already know, my Patreon supporters get exclusive content that I never post anywhere else online just for you guys. So I appreciate you being on the team. And stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll tell you what's coming up next. All right, I'm so excited. I'm here today with Rob Cubbin, and it's funny because we met at a meeting in Chiang Mai, but I was doing research on all the different ways to make passive income online, and I was actually researching some Udemy stuff, and I'm like on a website doing some research, and I was like, this guy looks familiar. <laughs> Didn't I? I think, wait a minute, we live in the same building. Oh my God, it's such a small world. I love being in Chiang Mai, being in this digital nomad central, so I'm on this website getting all this information, and then I figured, wait, let me come to the source, which was literally one flight up, <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> but so you had this wealth of information. I was on your website yeah. reading about passive income. And um, I think a lot of digital nomads and entrepreneurs were trying to figure out the best way to make money. You've been at this for a while. Mm -hmm. How important is passive income? And I guess, how should we try to focus on this versus like, hustling for jobs and yeah. that sort of thing. Well, I can only really say what, I, what happened to me, Ryman, you know, because so I, uh, I started out um, same like hustling for jobs, really. Yeah. So I was um, web and, doing web and graphic design in London and I started a website to, uh, well, I, don't, I don't know why, but I just started a website. And uh, in, or, in order to get Google traffic, I started creating content. Um, so same old story, just basic SEO, although this was 10 years ago, so it was a little bit easier. Right. Quite a lot, actually, easier than it is now. And um, so I, I was really into the creating the content, and sure enough, I got people contacting me through my content saying, can you do this job for me, blah, blah, blah. And, and two years later, I was, I was able to leave work and work full-time doing web and graphic design for clients. Which, by the way, I think for most people, that's already a huge win, right? It's yeah, like, <laughs> it was for me, honestly, because I, I hated work. Yeah, working for other people was just, just I didn't like that. I think yeah. we're all the same. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, that was a huge win. However, the uh, passive income did come later, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was a long process. So I was creating the content for Google, but during that, you know, I, I got a, an audience and started creating eBooks, and then I was on YouTube. So then I started creating video courses, and that's where the passive income kicked in. There was also affiliate links as well right. on, on my on my website. Um, and a variety of others because the beauty or well another arm to passive income is is the multiple income streams which right. means if something goes wrong with one you've always got the others right you um, don't want to rely on just one yeah, thing yeah. in case it's not working e exactly exactly e even doing uh, graphic design for clients you could lose a big client you know and then that's your business in trouble so um, it was all part and parcel of the same thing and it was it's, it's grown over sort of 10 years, uh, but yeah, that's, now, that's it. I came to your website through learning about Udemy and I saw clicks on, I mean, of course, all the headlines also, it sounds so good, but you were showing the truth, which was like, I think I clicked on something, it was like, you know, 5,000 a month in passive income, click. <laughs> like, wait, let's talk about yeah. that. Like, I yeah, want, yeah. I want 5,000 a month and yeah. just chill money. That's how I think <laughs> of it, right? That's like chill money, it's just coming yes. passively, yes. right? So yeah. for someone who, they want chill money too, like what do you think is a, a strategy that's worked for you as far as growing a passive income? Obviously you're saying it started with building an audience. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, again, it was different for me because this is, I have to go back four years for Udemy and, and I was probably a little bit lucky knowing about that platform um, when it was just taking off. I still think it's a good place to make money, but there's probably a little bit more competition there for, and it also depends on your niche. I mean, I know guys that are making 
10 or 20 times that amount because they're creating uh, content in such great niches that everyone wants to learn about, like VMware, which is something I know nothing about, so I can't do that, unfortunately. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's virtual machine. Yeah, nor do I. Anyway. I figured it was virtual something. <laughs> I'm like, V virtual, M virtual money? Yeah. Is that what they're yeah. doing? Whatever it is, you know, if you know about that, make a course on it um that you can have that one for free yeah <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so so I, yeah it was i just i discovered udemy early on however that had a flip side because udemy sells courses very cheaply right. and that's not a good thing right um so maybe maybe i was lucky and unlucky at the same time because i went on to udemy before i started selling courses through my own site and I, I would advise anyone to do both as quickly as possible if you want to make courses, you know, sell them everywhere. Um, but I, I, I was probably too Udemy centric um, looking back on, the, on those things. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, and a friend told me about Udemy. So another thing is, um, I don't need to tell you this, of course, but meeting other entrepreneurs, my God, how, how useful is that? Oh my God. How, how many times has a friend of mine told me, oh, I'm making a bit of money here. I said, oh, how'd you do that? And, you know. It's really yeah. important, you know, and it's also why I wanted to be here in Chiang Mai, just mm. because in Chiang Mai, we just happen to be in the same building, but there are so many people here who are digital nomads, who are working online, and you do get really valuable nuggets, and people mm. here are so helpful. There is a real community of people who are like-minded and who are interested in seeing each other succeed, you know, and I think you are genuinely Wonderful. Now, some people, they just have their headphones on, they put their heads down. Also, you'll see that. That's fine, too. You know, but there's also a lot of people who are friendly and chatty, and it's kind of amazing. And I saw on your website, because I was stalking a little bit, wouldn't you, too, if he said 5000 in a, a month? I'm, I'm going through that website. That, I'll that, put the link. That, he, that headline, I'll tell you, I was up all night thinking about that. It's a good one. <laughs> I need to find something so good like that and get those clicks. Um, but so I was also on your website and you were talking about how you had moved a bit away from Udemy mm -hmm. and were selling other courses. And now I'm trying to remember the name of the other website that you were using. Teachable? It, teachable. Yeah. Right. Now that, so you prefer that one. Well, it's a, it's a different thing altogether because Teachable is, is really just a tool to sell courses from your own site. Right. So it, it won't do you any good unless you've got traffic. It's not doing any marketing. It's okay. not doing any marketing. That was yeah. going to be my question because the yeah. thing for me that seems cool about Udemy is that they will promote yeah. your courses, yeah. now granted, they're going to promote your courses and then give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, here's a dollar. And you're like, wait, but that was like an $85 course. How did this happen? <laughs> These promotions, right? Um, yeah. But so I see a lot of pros and cons, you know, with Udemy. Mm. And then I also saw that you were also doing some mm. things with Amazon. Mm. Like, do you enjoy that as well for like I enjoy everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that can bring in the cash. Well, no, no, actually, it's totally it. not. No, uh -huh. I do lots of things that really don't bring in any cash. In fact, cost money. Yeah. But um, no, I, I, well, I do a lot with on Amazon. So I sell video and courses on Amazon. That is not making any money. Uh -huh. Books, Kindles, obviously, paperbacks, uh, physical products. And now I'm doing merch, which is T-shirts. Now, why aren't, do you have any idea why the videos on Amazon aren't making any money? Yeah, um, they're not... They, they just seem to th think it was a good idea uh, and, and put all their energy into it at one point and then suddenly they gave up on it. I mean, the back end is terrible. Mm. Uh, it's really difficult to negotiate. You, you get a lot of views, but you just, I mean, it's worse than you, do not it? You just make so little money. That is good to know because I was literally, it's on a list that I've made somewhere, like look into Amazon video, guess mm. what? <laughs> Crossed off the list for now. Well, for now, I mean, don't, now. don't take yeah. my word for it. It's, it's yeah, yeah. very different. It depends on your niche. Maybe, you know, it's uh, people aren't going on to Amazon to learn. They're going on to Amazon to have fun and buy things. I, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just something about it. I was really hopeful about it. You know, yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Uh, when it happened. And, and it just it just, um, it just didn't work out. Well, we'll, we'll see. Um, keep, you know, keep your eyes peeled on this one. Are you playing with Facebook video? No, I'm not okay. doing anything there. Okay. No, sorry. It looks so interesting. I'm still trying to figure out Facebook video. But certainly good. Trying to good. figure out Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the great thing about Facebook is that you get views, but as far as passive income, mm. I'm just not sure. I think you really have to maybe have a, a really strong business plan 
or some kind of business model to direct people into some sort of a sales funnel or yeah. something from yeah. Facebook, but it doesn't seem like a clean, easy... Mm. Yeah, or you, if you've got a very good niche that you can target well with Facebook ads, right. then it works. But for me, I haven't really managed to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what advice do you have if people are just starting out and they're like, listen, I want some passive income. <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out a way yeah. to work online, you know, and, and have streams of it. Like, what do you think? I mean, in case we haven't made it clear, Rob's business is definitely now, it seems a lot geared towards coursing, teaching. You have a lot of experience working in the industry, working as a DN, if you like that term for yourself. Whatever. Whatever. You can call it what you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a lot of experience, so you now have a lot of courses where you help other people to do that. Um, so someone who's starting out, of course they can take your course, because mm -hmm. you have all the information. Um, but just like a, as far as a path, do you have like an initial guidance you like to well, give? Well, what I always say is what I did, and, and it's, you know, it's becoming less of good, this is going to sound terrible, it's, it's becoming less of good advice as the years go past because it's, it's to create your own blog, create content and collect email addresses. It still works, it's still a good idea for all sorts of reasons, not just for the passive income, it just looks so good that you've got a website with great content on it. It makes people think that you know maybe you're worth talking to, maybe you're worth you know going into a joint venture with, but um, it's what I did and it worked for me. So that's always what I tell people. Unfortunately, as I said earlier, it's getting harder on SEO to get seen by Google. Right. However, if you just put the hours in um, and you enjoy it as well, I, yeah, and, and enjoy it. That's quite That's important. true. Because yeah. I do think the energy matters, right? Mm. If you're just sitting at your computer, yeah. hating your life, pounding away the keys, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's going to have the same impact. Yes is if you're genuinely writing about something you care about, posting yeah. photos that yeah. mean something yeah. to you. Yeah. Totally different energy that yeah. goes into Absolutely. Whole. And you might not be writing, you maybe like video, maybe you like photos, maybe you like podcasting, but yeah. whatever it is, just like that's that, that stream of, of great content in that central place, which is yours, nobody can take it away from you, so your domain, and collect email addresses. That That's what worked for me. Rob is talking to me right now. I've been neglecting my website. That is my confession. I hope that by the time you watch this video, I have mended my, my terrible ways. <laughs> it's, uh, it's difficult. I mean, it's, it's, it's really difficult to tell people to do this because you're not going to see any benefit from it for a few, you know, a few months, maybe years. So, And that's the you know. thing. So I was thinking about this. Like, I think one of the toughest things about being a digital nomad, and I think a lot of the reasons a lot of people give up or don't make it is because... For, you know, there's there's this fantasy online of, you know, the laptop by the beach, and mm. it just looks so sexy. All those fancy MacBooks just hanging out in Bali, right? But I think the reality is a lot more hard work that goes into it before you can get to that point where you're literally just chilling by the beach. Yeah, I mean... And so, how do you stay motivated, or, or do you have advice to help people keep themselves motivated when you're working for months and months with maybe no income? Again, it's just enjoy what you're doing. Because uh, I don't have any problem with motivation. No, I never have. I've never hit a wall. I, I never. I never wake up. I never know how long I've worked for in a day. I don't know if anyone. I mean, I just no, never add up the hours or anything like that. So uh, for me, it's not work. So so that's that's the motivation. You know, it's something you really enjoy. Um, so so that you know that's it. And as for the the work, yeah, you're right. I mean, because I, I I'm a bit of a different guy here in Chiang Mai and that's a lot of them are quite young and have just come here and they're starting their entrepreneurial journey when they started in Chiang Mai however I started my entrepreneurial journey maybe eight years before I came here yeah and I've been here um, a while as well you know I was talking to another woman about that I think that is great advice though if you're at home right now and you have your normal nine to five and you want a way out you can start now you don't have to yeah. be dramatic and move to Chiang Mai yeah. you can by the way mm -hmm. hey come say hi to me um, you can do that but you can start at home so you can say okay what would I do if I wasn't Chiang Mai what kind of business do I want to build what kind of blog do I want to have what would I want on my website start building that now you know like if you have a job like I had which you were just sitting at a computer all day fairly bored and uninspired work on your blog at that job I could have I was doing I was on mm. Facebook all day mm. instead of being on Facebook at your job build your website I used to do that all the time yeah I worked on my own stuff all the time when I was at work 
And then all of a sudden that job isn't even so sucky. All of a sudden that job is just funding your ability to start a new life for yourself. And then that job is also amazing in that transformational part of your life. So you don't have to wait until you change everything. You can start making gradual changes and then you'll be out here in Chiang Mai teaching the courses <laughs> on how to get started yourself to other newbies. So Indeed. I really love this chat. So did I. I feel inspired. I am absolutely going to add new articles to my website. By the time this is posted, you can click the link. I'm going to tell you about it. And, and I don't know and, what I'm going to write and, yet. And give your email address to That's Roman. right. Give me your email address because, you know, I need to like start a sales funnel or something. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. But it's going to be fun. I'm going to have some amazing content for you. Stay tuned. I feel like I learned a lot. Did you learn a lot too? I hope you're taking notes. A lot of info in there. And make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss anything that's coming up next. Every week I'm posting on Wednesdays chats with digital nomads and interesting people who are doing fun things online like making money and others. So stay tuned. There's definitely more to come.